Well, I mean, there is, I mean, the Buddha talks of Vijnana Dhatu. Um, and it's not wonderfully defined in the, in the, uh, in the suttas. Um, and he talks of, of course, of the consciousness of the six sense basis, and then the, uh, uh, and then of, uh, say, uh, consciousness that is, um, um, uh, um, how do you say the Anandhang? Uh, the, there's it's in a few of the in the Kevada Sutta, uh, speaking about the 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 kind of unlimited and and radiant all around, um, non manifestative consciousness. Um, so that that's uh, an uh, it's an element of consciousness that, or an aspect of consciousness that the that the Buddha points to. Um, uh, a like universal consciousness, I'd shy away from as a as a um, as a terminology, um, just because it tends to be. Um, um, the assumptions can be made of it that are you know very eternalist and and uh, uh, and creating a something um, and uh, but also you know that say like consciousness that does another uh, uh, image that the Buddha uses it's in the Sanyutta Nikaya I can't remember where but there is that image that the Buddha uses of consciousness that doesn't land and he gives that image of you know when when the sun comes and there's a uh, you know hits the wall but what if there's no wall and what if there's no floor and what are they and but so this consciousness that does not land so that 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 uh, again you know the mind wants to define and have an answer to it uh, and but what is what is required is being able to relate to consciousness in a way that we are not identifying with it in that sense of that eye making and mind making and the underlying tendencies to conceit the ahankara, mamankara, mana uh, and and those programs of mind keep bringing us back to dukkha, and I think it's it's and the Buddha was brilliant in his. Of course, there there are these different sort of places where the Buddha sort of speaks of, alludes to consciousness, but. More often, what does he keep emphasizing? I teach suffering and the end of suffering. <laughs> and, and, and we keep kind of saying, yes, but. And then we go look for something to get tangled up in. And so that, that to be able to be, oh, right. Dukkha and cessation of the ending of dukkha. Uh, it's it's uh, it's such a brilliant, and, and to me that is the brilliance of the Buddha himself is his ability to cut to the chase of what the heart of the of spiritual aspiration is really about. 